Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. How y'all doing this morning? <laughs> well, I did it again. <laughs> Thank you so much to Janetia, one of my devoted honeybees who... Um, gently reminded me that I had skipped Thursday and um, read Friday's devotional for Thursday. And um, I, I typically only do this now twice. I've done it when I, it's a very, very busy day. It's almost like I've already gotten my day started mentally. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think it, though, I really do. I believe it's because someone needs to hear that devotion on that day. Which I know sounds ridiculous because they can go back and listen to any devotion. But, you know, I like to think of it in a more uh, spiritual way. My 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 uh, oopsies are more spiritual. <laughs> So today we're going to be reading the actual, we're going to be reading May 6th for May 7th. May 7th was posted yesterday. Um, today we're going to be reading Always Caring, which uh, comes out of Isaiah 43 and 2. Morning version is the T as in Tom, L as in Larry, B as in boy version. TLB. The evening version of Isaiah 43 and 2 is going to be coming out of the NAS as in Sam, B as in boy version. Thank you again to Janetia. I really, really appreciate your gentle nudge and reminder because I probably wouldn't have remembered until the 8th. <laughs> It would have come to me as I brushed my teeth or something like that. That Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> so thank you so much, my dear. I love you with the love of the Lord, honey. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Let's talk about Isaiah 43 and 2. It says, when you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Amen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That has some good stuff in it, didn't it? Oh, the waters may be deep. Uh-huh. And the trouble may be great. But I will be with you, okay? When you go through the rivers of difficulty, oh my, my, the waters will not drown you. And when you walk through the fire of oppression, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, you will not burn. Mm -mm -mm. The flames shall not consume you. Oh my, my, my. Ooh, wee. Mm mm mm. Get that thing down in the marrow of your bones, children. That right there is a tool you can use, honey, when your mind turns against you. Okay, let's read the text. The text says, when the hospital doors slide open, we aren't sure what news will greet us. God is compassionate. When the boss calls for us, calls us for a meeting, and dismissal is a real possibility. God is gentle. When we return home late at night to find our personal treasures stolen or destroyed, God is comforting. He cares so deeply for us. Some see God as distant. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my, my. Vengeful or condemning. Others see God as kind, affectionate, and attentive. Sometimes circumstances become too 
overwhelming. Mountains of anxiety rise up and we feel isolated and alone. Let no doubt take root. Oh my, my. Ooh, wee. Ooh, that's, 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 that's meat right there. That's meat. Let no doubt take root. God cares deeply, loves fully and remains faithful, ever at our side in times of trouble. Though our sorrows overwhelm us, he is the comfort that we need. Our prayer for this morning is, Lord, thank you so much for your care for me. I choose to take your love into my day. Listen, I want us to just look back at this last paragraph real quick. I want us to do that because I like us to take our uh, our words and, and store them. I, I feel like the best way to remember something, um, to tie it into your spirit is through repetition. That's why I sometimes... Things that I feel are very powerful, I will read them. I will read them a couple of times. And I want us to to really, really get this down in our spirits because listen, we are living in the last and evil days. And I know your mama said that. I know your big mama said it. I know your big mama, big mama probably said it as well. But we're closer now than we've ever been before. Okay, we're seeing mothers turn against daughters and daughters turn against mothers and fathers against sons and sons against fathers. Okay. We're seeing a lot of a lot of the the signs that we were warned about. We are in full full fledged um countdown at this point. No man knows the day nor the hour, but you got to see the writing on the wall. You got to see uh, the things that are taking place, the shortages, the plagues, the pestilence, the the um, natural disasters, um, back to back, frequently, repeatedly, all of these things. And so now more than ever, we have to begin hiding the words of the Lord in our heart. We have to begin hiding the meanings, the interpretations of the word of the Lord in our heart so that we are able to pull upon and eat and sup as children of God when our minds would seek to betray us. Come on now. When our hearts would seek to betray us because we're just flesh and blood. We're just flesh and blood, you guys. We we fear. We are not just completely fearless. Hmm. Okay, we don't all have the capability of running into the fire and saving all of the children, saving the the small animals and the elderly. Right? Some of us get afraid. Some of us get brave after we get afraid, but some of us First, we go to fear, you know, first. It's a natural knee-jerk reaction. And so uh, some of us get high anxiety, you know, and we retreat inside of ourselves. And so I want us to really, really soak in this this last paragraph, um, second, second, sentence beginning at the second sentence it says uh, I'm sorry the third sentence it says sometimes circumstances become too overwhelming mountains of anxiety rise up and we feel isolated and alone let no doubt take root God cares deeply for you, honeybees. God loves you fully, honeybees, and remains faithful. God remains faithful. 
ever at our side in times of trouble. Though our sorrows overwhelm us, he is the comfort that we need. He is the comfort that we need. Okay. I done preach now. Let me read my evening. Let me read my evening. I want to roll over here and show us our evening real quick. I typically don't do this, but I, like I said, I want us to get it down in the marrow of our bones. And so this will give you an opportunity to go back and read what I have spoken. Isaiah 43 and 2 for the evening says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now, first person. And through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched. Nor will the flame burn you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be scorched. Come on now. Nor will the flame burn you. Hmm? Okay. The text says, when you take God's hand, offered in love, and receive his comforting touch, will you, will you take God's hand, offered in love, and receive his comforting touch? Will you remember his faithfulness and let it calm your heart? Ooh, these are some real questions. Ooh, you got to make up in your mind. You got to make up in your mind. You got to make up in your mind that you will not be tossed by the waves. That you will not be pulled to and fro emotionally. Take God's hand that is offered in love and receive his comforting touch. Remember his faithfulness and let it calm your heart. Okay? Determine this for yourself. Determine this for your family. Determine this for your resolve. Okay? Okay? God is with you. You will not drown. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. The flames will not consume you. Cling to his promises and the mountains. As high as they may seem will crumble at your feet. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. That's a mighty word. I tell you what. God is with you. You will not drown. The flames will not consume you. Okay. What the devil has said is a lie. What he has whispered to you is a lie. What he has shown you that has happened to others, it will not happen to you. It will not. Okay. The warning and that fear that he continues to bring up in your spirit every chance he gives. He's a lie. He's the father of lies. God is with you. You will not drown. The flames will not consume you. Cling to his promises. And the mountain as high as they may seem. Oh, they will crumble at your feet. Hmm. Lord. This is our prayer for the evening. Lord, tonight I am tired and weary. I feel like I've been through deep waters and at times I have even been afraid of drowning. Please protect my heart and my thoughts from fear and give me peace in the middle of everything. Listen, this is not an easy task because... Our first instinct is to run and hide. I know that that is um, indicative of small children, you know. Uh, small children, when something happens in the home, uh, oftentimes you can't just go get them right out of their bed. 
oftentimes they will have gone somewhere and they will hide and they will tuck their heads and, and, and cover their ears and just try to make it all go away. Okay. In the middle of a fire, in the middle of a storm. And so you have to search for them frantically, wasting precious moments of, of, of safety, uh, of escape time, wasting precious moments of escape time because you're looking for them. Well, we do it as adults as well, don't we? We do it. We we run and we hide, okay? We get so fretful and frightful and fearful that we tuck uh, our heads in our knees and we cover our ears and we tighten our eyes and we we hide but i want you to know that god is with you okay that's not to say you cannot be afraid but this is for you to continue to hold on to know that God is with you. Don't let go. Don't go quietly into the sweet night. Don't take matters into your own hands. And you know what I mean. A lot of people are taking the matter into their own hands. And they are giving up instead of fighting on. Instead of persevering. It, a lot of times it is because they feel so alone. They feel as though the mountain is too high, the river is too deep, the fire is too hot. But we know now through Isaiah 43 and 2 that God is with us, that we will not drown, that the flames will not consume us. And the mountains, no matter how high they seem, they will crumble. And all you deny yourself when you take matters into your own hands, the only thing that you are doing is missing, denying yourself the opportunity to see things get better, to see the sun come out again, to see the waters recede and the flames subside and that mountain, ah, yeah, 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 crumble at your feet. Okay, so y'all don't give up today. I hope you have a wonderful Friday. Let me go ahead and read our question for ourselves before I give you my prayer for you today. Um, It says our question for ourselves today is what are you concerned about right now? Trust in God and put your hand in his tonight, today. Hmm? Ask yourselves that. What are you concerned about today? What are some things that are that's on your heart and it's on your mind that you that that's really really been been bothering you? That's been you know coming up in your spirit over and over again. It could be about your children or your job or your home or this world. I know for me, India has been coming up over and over again in my spirit, and just the horrific. Um, conditions that they have there as well as in Africa it's it's worse in India I think um, and so my prayer in my heart and my prayer has been with them okay but for me myself I I am I get concerned about things that I want to do I want to move closer to my parents and everything that I read says that there are no homes available for purchase right now. And I get a little anxious about that because um, it's, you know, things are getting a little tricky around my parents' home. And I need to be closer to them. I need to be closer. I need to be where I can access them really quickly. Um, and I've got some other things that I'm concerned about, but I continue every time that fear, whether it's India, uh, whether it's fear for myself or fear for what's going on in this world, I, I continue to remind myself that God is, is faithful and that his mercy and his kindness 
endureth forever and that he is with me. Okay, I trust that he knows what is best for me and I trust that he is doing what is best for me. I trust that timing is everything, right? And that um, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what is happening, it is only a season. It's only a season. It's only uh, an obstacle. It, it, it is not insurmountable with God's help, right? And uh, I move on about my day, okay? And it's my prayer for you today as fears creep in on you in your mind and in your heart, even as anxiety tries to grip your your body and force you to tuck your head into your knees and cover your ears and hide. I pray that you will feel God's love and his caring all over you. Wash all over you. Wash you clean. Okay. I pray that he, the lifter of your head, oh my, 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 will bring you joy, will ease those anxieties for you today today that he would ease those anxieties that he would calm those fears and that you would feel the wonderful wave of love and caring wash over your body today okay all right all right that's my prayer for you all today in the name of jesus i love you all i hope you have a wonderful weekend i'll be back here tomorrow morning for the 8th and I'll be doing that and, and it'll, I'll be on time with it and it'll be fine. So I'll see y'all on Saturday. If not, y'all know y'all can catch the replay. I love you. And until next time, I'll holler.